Software just dropped a major update. You no longer need Airtable, Notion, or Sheets to manage your backend. Their new databases feature is live. Check it out. Welcome back. I'm Zach from InterDev Solutions. We help businesses streamline their processes using custom no-code tools so you can focus on what matters most. To learn more, you can visit our website, interdevsolutions.com, or use the link in the description below. I've spent years working with Airtable and SmartSuite, building order management systems, custom CRMs, and client portals, among many other types of tools. So when I heard Softer was launching their own database feature, I had to check it out. Softer is a popular no-code platform built to help you create internal tools and business apps on top of your data. Until now, it's relied on external sources like Airtable or Google Sheets or SmartSuite. But with the new Softer databases, that changes. You can now build, manage, and connect your backend natively, which caught my attention for two big reasons, speed and cost, no sync delays, and in many cases, you may not even need a separate Airtable subscription anymore. My honest thoughts, it's promising, fast, but still has some growing up to do. Let's get into it. To get started for free, you can use the link in the description below. In Softer, we have the apps and the databases. This is the new feature that Softer has just released, and this is where you can create your database. So you have a few options. We can start from scratch, we can start from a template, and you can even import your data. Now they do have plans to have an automatic import. So if you currently use Airtable in the hopefully near future here, you'll be able to automate that process on import your data. There's this Airtable and a Google Sheets option that's coming soon where you'll just be able to integrate with your current account and it will bring in whatever database that you need. You also have the option to import via a CSV file. So at this point in time, no matter what the data source is, you can download a CSV from your current database and upload it here. To do that, as long as you have the CSV file, you just have to select it. We can hit continue and then you can just drag and drop your CSV in. Now that I've dropped it in, it shows my CSV import, shows all of the data. I can import the data and within a moment or two, it will create the database and we can see that it has imported all of my data. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click this start with a template and they have a number of different options. I'm gonna go down to the order management. It gives you a brief preview and then we can use the template. If you've used Airtable or SmartSuite, it is roughly the same type of layout. At the top, we have the actual database where you can select this drop down, and we can rename the database. We can choose a icon here. We can choose the color. So if I select into it, you can choose any color for your database background. We can add a description, and then we have all of the different tables across the top, and we can add additional tables as well. We have views, so you do have the flexibility to create different views, but at this point in time, they only have the grid view or what's familiar as like the table layout, similar to Airtable and Google Sheets and SmartSuite. I don't know if they have plans to add additional types of views, but really that is not going to be their main focus because you can create the different views and the user interface layouts directly within the app builder, which software is traditionally known for. And in the initial launch, they have a filter option. They have the sort and you can show and hide fields in line. So if I go into filters, you can also group by different fields. And one thing to know within the filters option, there is no group conditions at this point in time. And again, I don't know if they have plans to do that, but within the app interface, you're able to build more customized filters. Again, similar to the other tools and apps that we are familiar with, you have the add field option, or you can also right click on any field. So if I wanted to right click on the avatar and then we can add fields left and right. I'm just gonna go over here to add field and there is a number of different field types. The normal ones, short and long text, we have select fields, files or attachments, dates, number, currency, and the list goes on. The status or select field, for example, we have the field type in Airtable. There's actually two different field types for single select and multi-select. Within software, we have the option to enable multiple selection. 
and you have default values on most, if not all of the different field types right out of the box, which is nice. And if we scroll down, we can see we got email and phone number and so on. If I go into currency, they actually have a lot of currency settings and formatting right off the hop. So you can choose your different dollar symbols or currency symbols. You can display using the symbol or the code, for example, if it's in USD or euros, Canadian dollars, whatever it may be. And you have lots of flexibility within the settings. Another nice feature, if we drag this out, similar to Excel or Google Sheets, if we go over and hover on the right side, you can see the double arrows. If I double click, it will snap to fit the data that exists within the given cell. Something it doesn't have quite yet is the, if I just remove the data, it does not have the click to drag and fill the cells, but you can use copy and paste to add in data from one cell to the next. There is a formula field and it works, but right now it is fairly limited and it's not as intuitive as using Airtable, for example. So if we go down to the formula field, and actually I might go choose another table for a moment. Now we're in the orders table. It shows the amount. Let's say we wanted to create a amount plus tax column. If I just search up formula and then I'll just label this total amount. And then it does not have an autocomplete based off of the different field names at this point in time. I'm sure this is something that's going to be released in the near future. But for example, if I wanted to reference the amount field and multiply by 10% to get the tax, we could go amount. And you can see that as I typed it, there's nothing popping up. I have to make sure that I specifically type the column name or field name exactly as is. We'll go amount, use multiply by 1.13. And if we hit save, we can see that the calculation does work. And then also to take this a step further, if I called this subtotal, hit save, and I'll open this up. One thing it does dynamically is it will adjust the field name for us. If there's two different words or there's a space that's contained within the field name, you have to make sure that you use the curly brackets so that it references the cell or the field correctly. Also at this point in time, there is no styling on formula fields, at least on the database side. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to format this as a currency. It would be a really nice feature to have so that it worked that way throughout the rest of the application on the user interface side. However, you can actually format that on the actual app that gets created for you. So when you create the interface using software apps, you can format it as currency, but it would be really nice if you could format it from the database side and then it just worked that way throughout the entire application. One other thing to note, and you can see here, I have a customer's table and it links to the orders. So I've got an order that links back to a customer and that is also in the ad field. If we go down to the relational record or the linked record, as we're familiar with in Airtable, you can create those types of relationships it has the lookup and roll up functionality and relations as well. And then the last few things on the field, if we scroll down to the very bottom, we have different record info that's consistent across all of these different types of database tools. We have the created by, last updated by, created at, last updated at, record ID, and auto number. A huge benefit to using software databases is that because it's a native integration, it's just built right into the platform the load times are so much faster. There's no sync lag and you don't have to worry about the API credits or the API uses that you get from the different tools. That's also something I've noticed on LinkedIn when I've seen some other users talk about the new software databases is the speed of the actual database itself and how it integrates nicely with the app. With this data, similar to Airtable or Google Sheets or SmartSuite, you can create apps directly with the software database. That is a given, of course, because why else would they have built this? But if we go into the apps and the nice thing about using the template like I did is they already have the app built for us. It's going to need some customization, but it is there. So I'm going to navigate into the apps 
and start with a template, search up the orders. I will use that template. And then in a moment here, I will also link this to the template database that software created for us. So if I go over to data, go into software databases and select order management by software. Go into interfaces here and we can see the customer orders. It's bringing in all of those details right in line. And the app side hasn't changed. It is your familiar software builder system. Just to recap, some of the benefits is there's no API tokens or authentication setup needed. You can connect multiple software databases into a single app. You can invite external users without giving them full access to your backend or workspace access with no per seat cost or no additional cost like you would have with Airtable. A few things that are still missing or that you need to watch for, the formula builder, it, it lacks some of the advanced capabilities that I mentioned. Software also doesn't have any native automation or logic workflows yet, but of course you can use Zapier, Make, Nate, and all of the other familiar tools to integrate with data. Overall, software has done a solid job introducing their own native database if you're looking for a simple integrated database that connects directly to your app without external tools is extremely fast, software databases is a great starting. For now, more complex workflows or advanced logic might still hit some limitation, but that's expected with the first release. As you've seen throughout this video, the pace of development suggests that this will quickly become a more viable solution for advanced use cases. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more tutorials and demos in the future.